Welcome to your place inside now, where we're discussing what home improvements will add value to your home. Yes, we want to help homeowners understand how much money they put into their home and what's the best way to get that money back. Just because you remodel your bathroom for $5,000 doesn't mean your bathroom will be worth $5,000 more, or your landscaping, or any room for that matter. Yes, because not all improvements are a good investment, but kitchens and bathrooms are a great place to start. And John, that's why we're here at our sister's house on Lake Fenton in Fenton, Michigan. This home was built in the 50s, and we're remodeling it room by room to show you where you can get a bang for your buck. In our last episode, we did a complete gut and remodel of my sister's bathroom. We did put in new countertops, new vanity, and a completely new ceramic tile shower. We also talked about choosing timeless colors and materials. Try to avoid bold, trendy patterns. If you want those kind of patterns, do that in linens and draperies and pillows. That way, if you grow tired of it or the style changes, you can make a big change without a huge expense. Yes, and when it comes to countertops, we always recommend granite. It seems to be what our buyers request the most. Bathrooms are a smart move. But if you can't afford to remodel your whole bathroom, then swap out your fixtures in your faucets or possibly your countertops. That way you can make a big change without denting your wallet. In today's show, we're talking about mudrooms. It's always a challenge to keep your mudroom organized and efficient, especially in my house. John, I know we're all just trying to make life easier. And in this day and age, we all have many hats, boots, mittens, gloves, school supplies. We need a place to tuck those away so they're out of sight. And that's why we decided to redo this mudroom. It is accessible from both the garage and the front door. In this particular house, it is truly a catch-all. Yes, and that's why we hired Michael from Taylor Living of Motor City to help us redo this space. Well, today we're doing a, a mudroom and closet conversion into a, a reaching closet. So we're gonna put in a little bench unit with some hooks and an upper storage for the young child, the young children in the house to organize their stuff as they come in from school. And then we're gonna put some coat storage on the right side so that we can store the coats for guests and some hat storage up above and then a little shelving unit in between so that we can actually utilize the full use of the space from inside to outside. A lot of clients today want to take a reach-in closet that has bifold doors and take the doors off and maybe put like a little drape or a little kind of mesh beaded opening just to make the closet more uh, usable in a bedroom or in inside the uh, hallway scenario so that it's uh, no doors restricted. If you want to put some drawers or a bench in there that you can actually utilize it more effectively. And my philosophy is nothing can fall from the floor. So floor, a floor mount system sits on the floor, goes upright, we anchor it to the wall so it doesn't come forward. A hanging system, although functional, hangs from a metal uh, galvanized steel bolt to the wall and the partition hangs from that. We do cleat it for additional weight support, but again, studs weaken, walls weaken, it could. If they overweight it going forward, it could pull from the wall. We do everything in our installation process to make sure that doesn't happen by additional cleats and into the wall and underneath the fixed shelf. Tailored Living has uh, three designers. We come into your house, we take measurements. We have a really cool three CAD Da Vinci program that we put the project up on a, on a computer program and show you three dimensional how the project would look. Our system also tells you how many feet of hang space, how many feet of shelf space you're gonna have so that you know what it's gonna look like and how much utilization you're gonna have from that, that design. Tailored Living does everything from closets to mudrooms to pantries to home offices to um, our, tailor, our premier garage brand also invites, we do uh, garage cabinetry, uh, slot wall for organization on racks, we do a, a polyspark polyurethane coating for concrete. So the Tailored Living is a one-stop shop from in, what, pulling into the garage to you know in a bookshelf or even an entertainment center in your house. John, he makes a good point about floor-mounted closet organization. When it's mounted from the floor, you're able to carry a lot more weight. Plus, the installation gives it more of a built-in look. Sprucing up this entryway was a good idea, but was it a great investment? She probably won't get all of her money back. But this room, if you're thinking about selling, is the first thing a buyer sees when they enter the home, and it's the last thing a buyer sees when they leave. So it was a smart idea. Yes, and it is one of the easiest spaces to make over. In our next episode, we're going to take a closer look at backsplashes. Modern day backsplashes are no longer just to protect the walls from splatters and spills. Now they're made out of wood and glass and even granite, and they can totally change the look of your kitchen with just a backsplash. And we're going to install a bidet as seen on the Kardashians. 